All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Syncing with Service Now, episode 38. My name is Eddie McDonald, and I am your temporary host today. Andy Whiteside is out visiting customers. If you don't know, Andy is the CEO of Zintegra and the regular host of Syncing with Service Now. But uh, I've got myself and Mike Savia, our certified master architect, here with me. Mike, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks, Eddie. Fantastic. Good start to the week. Yes, yes. We like the, we do these every other week. So uh, this is, like I said, episode 38. So if, if this is your first time listening, you uh, have 37 other podcasts to listen to. So get to it. Um, today, Mike, we are going to be discussing a blog post from ServiceNow. Today's blog post is called Survey finds HR leaders will drive business transformation. Um, as I've said on a number of podcasts up to date, I am very much into the people side of what we do. So this one uh, is very much up my alley. Any initial thoughts before we jump in? No, I, I think this is a good topic. It's important to a lot of people. And, you know, yes, a lot of customers are focusing on IT, but HR intimately ties with that. You have to, write, have to write people at the right time. You need to be able to bring those people on board very quickly. Yes, yes, I agree. And uh, I'll qualify this with my uh, with a statement I've made in the past that the average organization has about 22 separate onboarding tasks to bring somebody new on. Most of those tasks are have to be tracked by the HR team. And if they without a a uh, a platform like ServiceNow, that can be an excruciating time killer, just tracking, making sure all of these tasks and the people they're assigned to have executed those tasks. So ServiceNow really streamlines that. So anyway, let's jump in. Um, the first section here says, as organizations worldwide embrace digital transformation, HR leaders are turning to innovative solutions to make smart talent decisions supercharge employee experience and increase operational efficiency. HR executives will lead the way in stepping up digital transformation to drive business transformation over the next 18 months, according to research by ServiceNow and ThoughtLab. So it's, a, it's a really big deal. You know, I mean, you talk about digital transformation can fall into the IT group, but it also loops in the people side of the equation as well. As well. Um, Mike, what are your thoughts on that? No, exactly that. You know, it, it loops them in. And, and I know that just a moment ago, I was just talking about onboarding, but HR goes beyond just onboarding to also be able to support their, their employees uh, with their questions and uh, requests for leave of absence or the like. So, you know, HR, it, it's natural for this to be included within that ServiceNow uh, platform of solutions. Very much so. So there's a graph here on this blog post that says how HR leaders and CIOs collaborate to maximize the use of technology. Um, and there's several sections here between supporting innovation, aligning technology strategies with HR goals, increase utilization, automate HR and IT, reduce people cost through technology and evaluate and select software and digital solutions. Somebody who really understands this based on this graph is, you know, more than 50% will put you into the advanced section, which begs the question today, the majority of organizations are not using technology to enhance their HR skills. Any thoughts on that before we move to the next section? No, absolutely. It's true. And, and not just from an onboarding perspective, you know, sometimes there are questions to the HR team. What I just mentioned about uh, leave of absence or, you know, maternity leave or benefits. And we have spoken to so many customers who they get an email and they track in a spreadsheet. The ability to even do case management of those HR issues above and beyond some of those employee experiences, all very, very important. Absolutely. And the next section here is titled Revolutionizing How Work Gets Done. AI and Gen AI are top of mind for HR leaders across all industries and regions. According to our research, 65% of survey respondents believe AI will revolutionize how work gets done. There are, the bottom, bottom part of this section here says something interesting. It says 65% of HR innovators who have, implement, who have implemented Gen, Gen AI are using it to create job descriptions, 
streamline research, generate communications, and screen job applicants. The majority of HR innovators, 73%, plan to increase the implementation of Gen AI in their organizations in the next 18 months. So you're a regular HR person and you get asked to onboard a specific person with these skill sets, utilizing Gen AI to create that job description. I mean, I know my job description was several pages long. So, you know, and uh, I'm sure that my boss took a, quite a bit of time and HR quite, took quite a bit of time to craft that. You know, what's the value, Mike, that you see in Gen AI and HR? It's interesting because I actually was asked by my boss to create a job spec for a person, and and I started with Gen AI. I went to uh, ChatGPT, asked the question, got a result, and then yes, I absolutely had to go back through that and review it and see what was applicable, you know, timeframes, you know, all that stuff. But it was it was a great time saver. Rather than spend an hour generating that, I was able to do it in five minutes and, and maybe another five minutes to edit. And that's just an example of what could be done with Gen AI as part of the HR business. But if we can bring that into some of you know, the service not capabilities and, and speed up other things, all the better for all of us. Yeah, absolutely. And it's really funny, Gen AI or, or any of the AI capabilities, they're not designed to replace people. They're, they're designed to make people more efficient. You know, there's an old adage that says, technology is cheap, people are expensive. And if you can get your expensive resources to be more productive, the value of an automation platform like ServiceNow is a no-brainer. You know, people look at the initial uh, price of the platform and they go, oh, well, that seems expensive. But when you work in the increased productivity and visibility of a platform like ServiceNow, it really, it really just dots the eyes for you. It makes the decision quite easy. Mm -hmm. So the next section here is reinventing HR service delivery. So while AI and Gen AI are changing the workforce experience, HR-specific solutions offer additional efficiency for talent management. Cloud-based human capital management, self-service portals, workforce optimization services, and other digital technologies help HR leaders execute their strategies. Um, it says here that all survey respondents expect to increase the use of these solutions over the next 18 months to reduce cost. And most importantly, the last part is and to help inform decision making. So, what are your thoughts on all of the uh, all of the efforts going into reinventing the HR SD? I, I think it's fantastic. You know, HR SD came out a few years ago. Uh, you know, the other day, I was thinking about you know Service as a platform and and all the different products it supports from IT service management and customer service management, operations management, asset management. Uh, security and HR is, is a natural portion of that. And ServiceNow in each release continues to improve on it. And Gen AI is a natural way to extend that even further. You know, speed up the process of uh, creating content, speed up the process of uh, analyzing um, what a user, you know, uh, provides, uh, speed up acquisition, uh, get informed information about, um, you know how a person is being utilized within the company. Uh, have you know natural language learning around a query by a user to ServiceNow in order to get them the correct information. All of those are are making ServiceNow more useful for the organization as well as the, as well as the individual. Yeah, and it's not even just about the Gen AI capabilities. A lot of those that you just you know rattled off like talent acquisition, time and attendant management, you know, workspaces. That's just, that's part of the ServiceNow platform, you know? And then of course, Gen AI is the cherry on top that really helps, that helps with the efficiency piece of that. So yeah, fully agree. Um, in our last section here, using intelligence to inform talent decisions. Digital HR practices have created repositories of data across organizations. HR leaders are using this data to elevate talent management in numerous, numerous ways, from filling talent gaps, improving productivity, cost, effect, uh, cost efficiencies and performance, aligning talent with their business goals, which is the big one, and enhancing staff skills and mobility. Um, the focus on data will become increasingly important as HR leaders embrace reality that 55% believe that more than half of their workforce is under-equipped to help propel future growth. 
That is a crazy statistic that HR leaders believe half or more of their workforce is under-equipped to help propel future growth. What are your thoughts? I, 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 I don't know. I, I want to say I absolutely agree, but uh, you know, we're all very talented people and we have skill set. but you know, as AI transforms the business so that we can do the important stuff, that means people have to have the skills in those important stuff. And ServiceNow has skill tracking. Those skills tracking can be, be used for uh, assignment rule mapping. So like, hey, I want to have this ticket. It's a network issue. Let me find the person who's the expert in the VPN. But it goes beyond that to, you know, what skills are needed. Identify people that could learn into those skills. Make it easy for people to get that additional training, whether it's, you know, some HR training that we all have to do twice a year or uh, expose other additional training for the users so that they are ready for the new positions. Yes, absolutely. In the statistic that I that I mentioned here a second ago, half or more of the workforce is under-equipped. You know, I know that you've had this experience, as have I, more times than I can count, where organizations are, quote, over-equipped, where we've got too many platforms. There's redundancies after redundancy, whether it's Areas of communication, they might have Slack and Teams and chat and uh, whatever else that they're using, or they're keeping their customer data in more than one place, their employee data in more than one place. Having or being over-equipped is equally as problematic. And of course, ServiceNow being the integration platform, we can take all of those all of those items and filter that data into ServiceNow. So you have that single workspace where you don't have to swivel chair, where it takes that over-equipped out of the equation. Um, any final thoughts on that? Well, I, I think it might be a little optimistic on, on solving all of those issues, but uh, yeah, sure. even ourselves, we use both Slack and Teams, but the ability to integrate everything into one platform and, and even for Slack or Teams to be enabled to initiate a chat from within a ticket, all those things interlink and, and makes all of us uh, more productive and it makes our days easier because we're not struggling to figure out where we need to go. 100%, 100%. All right, Mike. Well, hey, thank you for your time. And uh, everyone, so today we're going to wrap up today's call. It was based on uh, HR leaders driving business transformation. So, uh, you know, quick little commercial here at the end. If any of you are looking for a very, very seasoned ServiceNow partner, we are qualified across the platform. Of course, we've got Mike here as a certified master architect. Our average tenures of architects is over 10 years. Our average tenure of our developers, uh, over seven to eight years. Um, we are not, you know, we've only been around a couple of years now, but we are a very, very tenured partner with literally hundreds of projects under our belt. So uh, please reach out and uh, let us know if we can be of service. And until next time, have a great day.